Hello everyone, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and I welcome you all to this interesting session on Java Frameworks. But before we begin, let's take a quick look at the agenda for today's topic. First of all, I'll be talking about what are Java Frameworks and why is it used. And then we'll move ahead and discuss the top 10 popular Java Frameworks in use. So let's get started. What are Java Frameworks? Java frameworks are the bodies of pre-written code to which you can add your own code in order to solve a problem. You make use of the frameworks by calling its methods, inheritance, supplying callbacks, listeners or other implementations of the pattern. A framework will often dictate the structure of an application. Some frameworks even supply so much code that all you have to do is write a very little code for your application. This can be good or bad depending on how easy is it to use. Frameworks are actually the substance of the program. You can either build it on a good one if your program is solid and fast and comes together beautifully. Or you can build it on a bad one if it is short and brutish. Okay. Jokes apart, but Java frameworks plays a vital role in software development. So now that you've understood what are Java frameworks, let's take a look at the different frameworks in use. So I have a couple of popular Java frameworks on list. So they're namely Spring, Hibernate, Structs, JWT that is Google Web Toolkit. Then we have Java Server Faces that is JSF. We have Grails, we have Varden, Blade, Drop Wizard and Play. So let's understand them in detail. First, we'll start with understanding the Spring Framework. Spring Framework is a powerful, lightweight application development framework used for Java Enterprise. The core features of the Spring Framework can be used in developing any Java application. It is described as a complete modular framework. This framework can be used for all layer implementations of a real-time application. It can also be used for the development of particular layer of a real-time application unlike the other frameworks. But with Spring, we can develop all the layers. Spring includes all the modules of Spring MVC, Spring Core, Spring Security and Spring ORM, which are basically used in enterprise applications. Now let's see where this Spring framework is used. Spring Framework is mainly used for web application development. Its features can be used to create any Java application and it is also used in Java Enterprise. Okay, so these are the uses of uh, Spring Framework. Now let's take a look at the advantages of the Spring. It provides a lightweight container that can be triggered without using a web server or application server software. Spring supports JDBC that improves productivity and reduces the error. It also targets to make J2W development easier to use. Spring also supports both XML and annotation based configuration and also provides backward compatibility and testability of code. Okay, now these are the notable advantages of Spring. Moving ahead, let's discuss about the top companies which use the Spring Framework for application development. They namely Netflix uses Spring Boot, Yatra uses Spring MVC, Amazon and eBay. Okay, so these are the notable companies which use Spring Framework. I hope you guys are clear with the Spring Framework. Now let's move ahead to our next framework that is Hibernate. Hibernate ORM is a stable object relational mapping framework for Java. It makes better communication possible between the Java programming language and the relational database management system that is RDBMS. Okay, so let me brief you about this. When you work with an object oriented language like Java, you'll encounter a problem called object relational impedance mismatch, which is also called paradigm mismatch. This is because the object oriented languages and the RDBMS handle the data differently which can lead to severe mismatch problems. So this Hibernate provides you with a framework that overcomes the mismatch problems in Java. Okay. Now let's take a look at the uses. It allows you to develop persistent classes following the object oriented idiom. It also allows you to communicate with any database using very tiny alterations in the code, bridging the gap between the objects and the relational words. 
It also offers an advanced ORM framework that lets you perform the database operation on the Java entities. So this is about the uses of the Hibernate framework. Now let's take a look at the advantages of this framework. It mainly offers portability, productivity and maintainability. It is free and open source framework. So you don't have to pay for this framework at all. And it also removes a lot of repetitive code from the JDBC API. Okay. Now talking about the major companies that use Hibernate framework for application development. We have Oracle, IBM, Dell, Accenture and many more. Okay. So I hope you guys are clear with the Hibernate framework. Now let's move ahead and understand what is the struct framework about. This is another enterprise level framework maintained by the Apache Software Foundation that is ASF. This is a fully featured Java web application framework that allows the developers to create an easy to maintain Java application. There are mainly two versions of this framework that is namely struct one and structs two. But all the companies prefer using structs too because it is the upgraded version of Apache structs. And what is this structs too? Structs too is the combination of the web framework of Open Symphony and structs one. Now let's take a look at the uses of this framework. The structs too framework is used to develop an MVC based web application. It uses and extends the Java servlet API in order to help the developers to develop an MVC architecture. Okay, so this is about the uses of structs. Now let's take a look at the advantages. This framework documentation is written for active web developers and assumes a working knowledge about how Java applications are built. It also reduces the development time and makes the manageability of the application easier. It offers centralized configuration rather than coding information into Java programs. Many structs values are represented in XML or property files. You can also integrate structs with other Java frameworks in order to perform tasks that are not built on the platform. Okay, so this is about the advantages of structs. Now let's take a look at the major companies that use structs framework for application development. They are namely Infosys, Accenture, NextGen and many more. Okay, so I hope you guys understood what are structs. Now let's move ahead to our next framework that is Google Web Toolkit or GWT. This Google Web Toolkit is a completely free open source framework that helps the developers to write client side Java code and establish it as JavaScript. A lot of Google products are written using JWT as AdSense, Google Wallet and Blogger and many more. Using JWT, developers can easily code complex browser applications rapidly. It also allows to develop and debug Ajax applications in Java. Another most awesome thing to note about JWT is that you can write complex browser based applications without being an expert in front end technologies like JavaScript optimization or responsive design. Okay, so this is about GWT. Now let's take a look at the uses. Okay, it is mainly developer friendly. It is used in all the Google API's. It helps in creating and maintaining complex JavaScript front end applications. Okay, now let's take a look at the advantages. It supports reusability for common web development tasks. Google API's can also be used in GWT applications. It also offers cross browsing portability, UI abstraction, bookmarking, internationalization and history management. So this is about GWT. Now let's move ahead and understand what are Java server faces that is JSF. Java server faces was developed by Oracle for building user interfaces for Java based web applications. It is also an official standard of the Java community process initiative and it is also a pretty stable framework. JSF is a component based UI application. It is based on the MVC software design pattern and has an architecture that totally defines a distinction between application logic and representation. Okay, now let's take a look at the uses. 
as I mentioned it offers component based UI framework and helps in building native applications. Okay. Now let's take a look at the advantages. JSF is an integral part of Java Enterprise Edition. It provides excellent tools and rich libraries. It also allows existing backend Java code to be extended with the web interface without having to change the base application by introducing a new framework. Okay, so this is about the Java server faces. Now let's move ahead to our next framework that is Grails. I think most of you would have heard about Grails. Grails is a dynamic framework coined by the groovy JVM programming language. It is an object oriented language for the Java platform which intends to enhance the developer productivity. Its syntax is compatible with Java and it's compiled to JVM bytecode. Grays also work with Java technologies like Java Enterprise Edition containers, Spring, SiteMesh, Quartz and Hibernate. Now let's take a look at the uses. It is a developer friendly framework as it comes with detailed and easy to read documentation. You can also build your own plugins and include the Grails IDE support for different platforms. Most of the e-commerce sites make use of this Grails. Now let's take a look at the advantages. It utilizes Groovy as its coding standard and since Groovy is similar to Java, programmers out there think it is easier to begin with Grails instead of Java. And it is also easy to use object mapping features. It also promotes reusability of code between different Grails application by modularizing the application in the form of plugins. It provides flexible profiles. Okay, so this is about the Grails framework. Now let's move ahead and understand what is Varden. Varden is a web application framework which focuses on UX accessibility. It provides you with a platform for streamlined Java development. Varden also allows you to build web applications of customizable components. A recent version of Varden that is Varden 10 approaches web application development in an entirely new way. It gives you direct access to the document object model from the Java virtual machine. With this new release, the Varden team split the previously monolithic framework into two parts. It also has a lightweight Java framework called Varden Flow that handles routing and server client communication. Varden comes with a big set of web components that are fine tuned for UX performance and accessibility. This means that you can build great looking applications faster. It is also considered as the fastest way to build web applications in Java. Now let's take a look at the uses. This framework automates all the communication between the browser and the server. It also simplifies the web application development. Now let's take a look at the advantages of Varden. Varden gives you an opportunity to bind data using either MVC or MVP. The drag and drop support along with other outstanding features simplifies the creation of a single page UI. It also offers automatic client server communication with WebSocket support. It makes use of Java or HTML for building views. Data binding is also possible. It also offers router with the nested root and parameter support. It supports JVM languages like Kotlin and Scala and also has built in spring support. Okay, so this is about the advantages of Varden. Now let's move ahead to our next framework that is Blade. Blade is a simple lightweight and high performance Java framework used for providing a full stack web framework. It is a lightweight MVC framework that provides a restful routing interface making the web API cleaner and much easier to understand and also helps in synchronizing data with the website. Blade is based on the Java 8 version and the web server and the template engines are built into the framework too. It has a minimal code impression which means that the source code is less than 500 KB in total. Isn't that great? Now let's take a look at the uses of this blade. Blade helps you to be self-contained, elegant, intuitive and super fast. 
It is used to create a small MVC application, not a bigger one, but a very smaller one. Now let's take a look at the advantages of Blade. Blade supports plugin extensions and web jar resources. It supports configuring multiple files at the same time and XSS, that is cross site scripting. And also possesses cross site request forgery, that is CSRF and cross-site scripting XSS for defense support. Okay, now this is about Blade. Now let's move to our next framework that is Drop Wizard. Drop Wizard is a high-performance Java framework used for rapid development of RESTful web services. It is especially suitable for creating Java microservices. The Drop Wizard framework pulls together various well established Java libraries in order to provide with a fast and distraction free development platform. Drop Wizard is a separate ecosystem that contains all the dependencies bundled into a single package. Okay, most of the developers out there would not have known about this framework, but let's take a look at the uses. It offers operational friendly Java frameworks. It also helps in creating Java microservices. Now, what about the advantages? You can easily perform a rapid prototyping using Drop Wizard. It helps in developing high performance RESTful web services and also supports many open source and independent libraries. It also offers quick project bootstrap and also helps in increasing the productivity of the application. So this is everything you need to know about Drop Wizard. Now let's move ahead to our final framework that is Play. Play is a reactive web and mobile framework for highly scalable Java applications. It is also considered as a unique Java framework as it does not rely on Java Enterprise Edition standards. Play makes it possible to develop lightweight and web friendly Java and Scala applications for desktop and mobile interfaces. It is often considered with powerful frameworks of other languages like Ruby on Rails for Ruby or Django for Python. It intends to remove all the inconvenience of traditional Java web development like slow development cycles, a lot of configuration and many more. Built upon Akka Toolkit, Play Frameworks truncates the creation of concurrent and distributed applications on a Java virtual machine. So this is about play. Now let's take a look at the uses. It helps in creating web applications that demand content creation. It also builds Java and Scala applications. Now let's take a look at the advantages. It offers features like hot code reloading, convention over configuration and error messages in the browser. It also supports non blocking IO, which is crucial for high performance applications. It is more flexible and offers failure tolerant results. Okay, so this is everything you need to know about the top 10 Java frameworks which are in use. You might get a question which of these are the best and which one should you use? The answer to this would be it depends on what you want to develop. If you want to create a front end application, you can use Google Web Toolkit. Or if you want to develop a Java Enterprise Edition web application, you can use Struts. Okay, in the same way, it depends on the user what he wants to develop. So it's up to the user which framework he wants to use for his application. So that's it from my end for today, guys. I hope you guys are clear with what are Java frameworks. And if you have any queries regarding this topic, comment them in the comment section below and we'll reply to you at the earliest. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.